Hi everyone, welcome back to Story Behind the Story. I'm your host, Ben Whitney, and we have Maddie this week with us. You did a story this week on the financial situation here at Northwest. I'm, I'm sure a lot of people are really concerned, you know, with the COVID-19 pandemic that money might be tight. Um, but what's some of the background of your story and some of the things that you learned from the people you talked to? Well, I learned a lot about the fact that we're still doing well and we're actually doing a lot better than some universities are. Um, I learned that, that, you know, we did take a hit financially with the state appropriations being pushed back and frozen by Governor Parson, but we were able to cut costs where we could and that kind of helped us bounce back, including the CARES Act money that was provided by the state. So how did that CARES Act money help uh, last fiscal year for the university? Well, last year it helped students who got refunds back from the school, especially students who were in housing or use, had meal plans. A lot That CARES Act money, half of that went towards their refunds and then the other half went to the university. So Parson froze, or the, the state froze a lot of their money that they were going to give to the university because of the pandemic and of course money's tight with the state economy. Um, but they did, or they're looking at at least, giving some, some of that money back, but it's not going to be anywhere near what was originally uh, they were going to get. So you want to talk a little bit about that? Yeah, so they cut about $4 billion from our, uh, from our state appropriations. And we're only getting about 14.6% of that back, which is roughly about half a million dollars. So what is the university going to do with that money? I mean, it's not really a whole lot in the grand scheme of things, right? So, I mean, is that really going to benefit us at all, or how, how's that going to come into play? So the way they did this is because they already built the money. So they took the original state appropriations before the money was frozen, and they built their budget around that. So when the money was taken away, they had to supplement by, like, cutting different costs in other places. Well, the money that they're getting is money they're getting back. They're not getting extra money, so it'll just go towards what it was originally intended in the beginning. So what were some of the changes that Northwest had to make when they realized that they were gonna have a, a budget shortfall? Uh, they mostly just cut costs where they could, you know, shutting down certain utilities and buildings that weren't being used, you know, delaying hires for positions that needed to be filled, you know, also cutting back on capital improvements within the buildings. Great. Well, sounds like we're hopefully going to be in a good spot and we won't have to shut down or do anything. So we'll cross our fingers and hope that the you know, pandemic doesn't cause a lot of long-term issues, at least here at the university. So thanks for sitting down with me this week, and thank you guys for joining us. I'll see you next week.